And tonight at 11, dozens of people are giving back to their community in honor of the fallen Fisher's canine, Harley. Harley was shot and killed yesterday morning during a police chase. And today, we're learning that the alleged shooter, 19-year-old Richard Garrett Jr., used expletives and taunted medics and officers with gunshot noises after he was captured. As you can imagine, this is an extremely difficult time for the police officer who worked with Harley every day. Tonight, our Emily Longnecker shares his heartfelt message for his fallen partner. Last night was the night as a canine handler you train your heart for, but are never truly ready for. Those are the words Fisher's police officer Jared Koopman wrote about losing his canine partner, Harley. My memories of him are just pure joy and happiness, Koopman said in a heart-wrenching post on Instagram. Wednesday morning, Harley was shot and killed while chasing a suspect who was running away following a police chase. Tributes, flowers, and well wishes have poured into the Fishers Police Department for the five-year-old Belgian Malinois. And since Harley's death, the Fishers community has really stepped up to show their support in so many ways, including this fundraiser right here at Bubba 33's. He'd been to birthday parties, he'd done a lot of demonstrations, been around the schools, and he was just... Uh, a really great dog. And, and when I look at that picture, I see in that, in that, in, you know, the eyes, and it just, it, it saddens you, but you also know that this community will rally around this police force and also in Harley's memory. This couple brought their grandchildren after hearing about the loss of Harley. It made me cry. So I can't wait to get here to support the Fishers Police and the K-9 units. They are such special dogs, and to lose one, it's just heartbreaking. It's sad. Yeah, it's just terrible. Um, you know, it's an officer just like they are, so I'm sure they feel the pain. I mean, obviously, this is a tragedy for the agency, uh, for Officer Koopman and his family, uh, and the community as a whole. I mean, it is, especially for Harley's partner, Officer Koopman, who wrote to him, I know you're chewing on some tennis balls right now, buddy. Daddy loves you, and I'm so glad you were my partner and in my life. Emily Longnecker, Channel 13 Eyewitness News. Now, Fisher's police are planning a funeral for K-9 Harley, which likely is going to be next week. The man accused, uh, accused of shooting Harley is this man on the left, Richard Garrett Jr. He's now facing multiple felony charges and will face trial in February, along with his companion on the chase, pictured here on the right, that's Rashana Farrow, who is charged with assisting a criminal.